here I am again at Abu Dhabi Airport. Uh, it's one of my favorite places because it means I'm about to go on an adventure. And today I am going to Kazakhstan. Uh, so uh, I did book a flight uh, to uh, Turkestan in Kazakhstan uh, because it is the Eid holiday weekend and flights were expensive and it was one of the cheapest flights I, I could find um, with the days that I needed to fly. So it's going to be a quick break. Uh, but it's going to be really exciting. I'm super excited. I'm really looking forward to the food and uh, just seeing some of the sights. So, yeah, um, I think we'll head off in about half an hour and I'm, just, yeah, can't wait. made it to Kazakhstan so I am so excited it's somewhere I've always wanted to visit and I'm finally here so um, getting through passport control in the airport super simple super quick uh, I had booked a transfer with the hotel that I was staying at I'm staying at the caravan Sarai um, and the reason why I picked this hotel this particular hotel because it was a little bit more expensive than the places I would normally stay is I feel like um, it's an adventure in and of itself so it's kind of part of the whole experience of coming here. So um, it's a beautiful hotel. I'll have to take some videos and, and show everyone. And oh, it's just, it's lovely. Um, and so checked in, everything's great. Um, and now, you know, we rested for about five, 10 minutes. Although, I, you know, I mean, we were on a plane for three hours. So I don't know why we needed to rest a little bit more, but uh, we are ready now to head out and see what is in this particular area. It is about 35 degrees today, but it's really nice. It's not too hot um, and yeah, it's really, really quite lovely. So I'm going to head off now and see what we can find. So we are just waiting for a Yandex to take us up to the visitor centre. Um, at the visitor centre, uh, there should be a museum as well. We will check out, uh, let's just hope it's open. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we did just have some lunch and I tried a horse burger. So something that I've seen on menus before, but I was never game enough to try. So I thought I would, um, so I thought I'd try it. And I was pleasantly surprised. It tasted just like any other burger. And um, yeah, I can now say that I have tried that experience. So um, yeah, the restaurant that we ate that at was just the one at the hotel. We just thought we would stay there just for our initial meal. And it was delicious. It was really, really good. Great service, great food. Um, what could be better than that?
So I just went into this beautiful blue building here, and that is the, I've just got to read this, uh, Yuli Dala Eli Ortalogy. To me, it feels like a bit of an ethnography museum where it has information on horses and, you know, a lot of um, just old uh, cultural things. And oh my goodness, this, this is actually really cool. Look at that really super cool car that just <laughs> passed. Um, yeah, so it was 800 tang to get in per person, which is uh less than three australian dollars so really not much at all uh maybe spend half an hour there it's nice and cool there it is warm today uh, being in summer um yeah some really good exhibits lots of good information um i'd, I'd recommend it i did try and visit the visitor center um, but it's closed and there's a old little museum next to it that appears to be closed as well so yeah went to this one yeah, and it was great it was fantastic I've just gotten back to my room and I'm out here on the terrace. And when I got back to the hotel, I thought I would go and explore the hotel a little bit. Um, I thought there was a pool here, there's not. Um, but what there is, is um, a Turkish bath uh, that you can use if you book. And I'm pretty sure you could probably just pay if you aren't booked to stay here. Um, but yeah, so there's a Turkish bath a steam room and a sauna that you can use for free. I decided to splurge and get a massage. It was it was really, really good. Um, I'm so relaxed now. Fell asleep twice during the massage. But the funny thing is, right, is I've never been in a Turkish bath before. I have no idea what to do. So I just kind of went in there and sat there. Uh, there's water bowls. Do you use the water bowl? I don't know. I don't know how a Turkish bath works. So. Anyway, it, I just I just sat there. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so there's a steam room, sauna as well, and you can pay extra for massages, which I did. Now, I've got about 15 minutes or so until the um, show starts, the one that's on the water. I think it's like, a, it's got boats, uh, it's this stuff. I'm really looking forward to going and seeing that. Um, so yeah, I might just, Put my shoes back on because I've been relaxing and um, go down and, and see the show. Now back in my room uh, I did just finish watching the boat show um, look I'm sure it has a proper name but uh, there's like a circular I want to say harbour uh, that the hotel surrounds and every evening they have a show that they put on and to my surprise the show went for a full half an hour so it uh, every time I thought it was finished 
it just kept going and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure about the, the context of every battle that went on in the show. Uh, there were a few battles, uh, but I still really liked it. I still really liked the, the entertainment value. The crowd is really large, although it is a Saturday night, so I guess that's to be expected. Tonight, the show started at nine o'clock. Sometimes it starts at eight, uh, and I think it's just to do with the season. So because it was still quite light at eight o'clock, you wouldn't get the full effect of the show uh, if it was still light. So double check with maybe the hotel or the restaurants to see what time the show is gonna start before you go. But yeah, it's a free show. Um, yeah, you just stand there for half an hour and, and watch it and it was really fun. Really enjoyed it. But my feet are now a little bit sore. I'm still oily from the massage and I've been up since 4.30 this morning. So I'm going to have a shower and I'm going to go to bed and it's been a great night. And is that a blackout? Oh, okay. Oh, lights are back on. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for a shower now. It is the second day here in Turkestan, Kazakhstan. Uh, we had breakfast at the hotel, was included in the press, and it was delicious. It was really, really yummy. And, no, thank you. Um, and then the hotel has a club car. So like one of those electric vehicles that you go from, uh, that goes from one end of the uh, caravan Sarai area to the other. So grabbed one of those, it was, because it is warm today, so we are trying to limit the amount of walking that we're doing. And now, um, yeah, we are heading to uh, the UNESCO World Heritage Site with the mausoleum. And I can see it now, it's absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to go in there and to check it out. So, um, yeah, it, oh, it's really nice here. It's really lovely. All the people are really lovely. And it's, I'm really enjoying my time.
So I'm here at the side of the mausoleum of Hoja Ahmed Yasawi and um, it is just a sunny example of uh, that you know kind of Silk Road architecture I'm sure that's not its proper name but it's what I you know I kind of like this to me that's what it is right because I um, in the Central Asian area that's kind of how a lot of the um, buildings look at but anyway it's absolutely stunning um, the I did get a, a entry ticket it was 500 tang, tang? Uh, and then I also got an audio guide which was I think three thousand all up it was about ten dollars for the audio guide uh, and have a couple dollars for the ticket to get in uh, I also went and saw the underground mosque while I was here as well uh, but the ticket doesn't include that does not include the um, uh, the oriental baths either so i didn't go into the oriental baths but i did go into the uh underground mosque there's also another mosque juna mosque and um yeah so it, the building is under construction oh sorry reconstruction so uh, you can't go into the main hall but look it's fine like you can still it's to me a lot of the time it's about the facade anyway right like it's just stunning like it's just a stunning example of uh, you know the central asian architecture um, I am walking along the wall up here and it's fantastic views over the grounds here. There's also this really cool channel um, just down here that leads from one of the outside gardens to the, um, to the mausoleum and there's, it's like an alley that is full of souvenir shops but it's really pleasant just to walk down so um, I'm looking forward to walking back there. It is hot, it's 36 degrees at the moment uh, so make sure if you do come here in summer you bring uh, adequate sun protection. <laughs> uh, after my experience in getting quite sunburned in Uzbekistan I was not taking chances this time so it's, it's warm, it's hot, the air is beautiful and crisp so um, yeah, it's just stunning. So I think, yeah, I think that's about it from here. Um, from here we might go get a light lunch and then have a rest for a little bit and yeah, get off our feet, have some fluids, hydrate and go out again this afternoon or this evening, go out again this evening. I think we're gonna go to the Flying Theatre later on. Uh, that is included with our stay at Caravan Sarai. So that's really good. Mm, and and plov i really want to get plov and i also want to try and find the um the national dish and yeah they're my two things plov national dish and then i'll be happy with all the food <laughs> worn ourselves out a little bit this morning uh, in the heat it was very hot our highs of 38 today so yeah really quite really quite hot um, so we went back to the hotel we had some lunch I uh, had a delicious salad and then we slept for about an hour and a half so we had a nap it's now uh, just after seven o'clock I mean look how beautiful the evening is it's just absolutely stunning um, <clears throat> excuse me and so we have come here to the flying theater and we are going to go in there just getting a drink first and then we're going to pop over there and see that the price of the ticket was included in the hotel stay which is fantastic um, it is like a an eagle's egg and nest so i'm really looking forward to seeing what the flying theater is actually all about and then after that it'll be dinner time and i'm hoping to get some traditional dishes for dinner so yeah
flying theatre was absolutely nothing like I expected it to be. Um, I actually thought it was going to be some type of stage show about, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I didn't know what it was. So when you go in, you go through a cave-like system and it goes through some of the old culture, some of the old ways uh, of the Kazakh people. Um, you know, uh, what are those things called? Oh. It has hieroglyphs on the walls, it has little videos playing, it has fire, it has all the things, yurt uh, teachings. So you go through that section and then you then go through to a, a second section um, where it shows uh, like a map of the area, Kazakhstan, and then it goes through the history of Kazakhstan, the borders, so the borders of Kazakhstan. And then you get taken into the theater. Now it is like an 8D theater. Now, if you have seen any of my videos, you will know that I suffer from motion sickness uh, and I get motion sick quite easily and quickly. So I was actually pleasantly surprised that I, I mean, it was touch and go at the end. I was starting to get a, a little bit um, unwell, but otherwise it, it was, I survived. So for all the other people out there who get motion sickness, you might be okay on the ride too, um, or ride or theatre. Um, but I have to say, the content of the the theatre show was just incredible. It was um, it was beautiful. It showed amazing landscapes, the cities. It was just I definitely highly recommend visiting. And then just right across from the flying theatre is Wowplov. And I had looked at some reviews and things like that before I came over here, and I knew I wanted to come and try the plov here. And it's a beef uh, beef plov. So it has had beef it was like a brisket it was really delicious um uh, probably the best plum I've, I've had sorry Uzbekistan um but yeah it was really really good really delicious the meat was really really high quality cups of meat too so I am absolutely full I am tired I've had a lot of sun I think I've got some work today unfortunately I've been to the theater I've just I've had a fantastic day and I think yeah signing off on day two in Kazakhstan. Today is day three in Turkestan, Kazakhstan and it is another gloriously sunny day and hot. It is meant to be a high of 38 today. So yeah, um, wanted to get out early to do some stuff, go back and maybe rest and then go back out again in the afternoon. So this morning, just yeah, it was a, a lazy wake up um, because we had that big nap yesterday. So found it difficult to get to sleep last night, but um, got up and had some breakfast in the hotel. Again, really, really lovely food then checked out Google Maps. Now, there are some markets in town, in the, the more well, the city center. And um, Google said they were closed. And look, it's Eid today, so it didn't wouldn't have surprised me if uh, things were closed. But it's one of those things where I thought, look, if people still wanna make money, they'll still be open today. So I thought I'd just go and check it out anyway. Uh, you just never know what else was going to be open around that particular area. So I went into the bazaar area. Some things, th there was still a lot of produce uh, on sale, so a, a lot of stall holders that were still there. So I ordered a Yandex anyway. It was about 800 tang, so just a few dollars to get into the city. Um, there were still a lot of food stalls, a lot of fruit and vegetables, um, uh, bread, oh, lots of bread. The bread smells absolutely amazing. There was even a salad stall, and the salads just, smelled beautiful. I did pick myself up something in the markets, just a pair of uh, little uh, slip-on plastic shoes to wear around the house at home. Uh, they cost about, well they cost 2010, uh, which is about six or seven Australian dollars and I didn't even try, I didn't try to haggle, like to me it's fine, it's, yeah, it's six or seven Australian dollars so um, yeah, just went with it, bought the shoes and can't wait to get home and try them on. My feet are killing. Didn't stay there very long uh, because not everything was open. 
which is fine. Um, and then uh, we caught a Yandex back to the museum, which is where we are now. It's the Museum of Turkestan. So I'll go in there and see what it's like. And um, yeah, hopefully you learn some stuff. to the museum and it was it was really good um, there were two rooms there one of the rooms uh, was all about the currency which is fun I really enjoy learning about the you know economics of a country uh, you know the, the queens the mints you know the minting all of that type of stuff one really cool thing there was a coin minted back when the Genghis Khan uh, was ruling this area and it was quite made in Samarkand most of the signage was in Kazakh and Russian, which is fine. Um, it's what Google translates for. It's awesome. It works really well. And um, and then the second room was more about the history of the area of Turkestan. So that was a little bit interesting. Not a lot there, but you know, it, it was just a nice little nice little museum nonetheless. Uh, then after that, made our way uh, to the dancing fountain, which was pretty cool and the water was lovely and cool it was so nice there we went through what i will assume will be in the future a, a cultural village and um you know it had some yurts and some uh, horses and like models and stuff like that um but yeah in the future i'm assuming it will be some type of cultural village it's just not not there yet or it could be there yet it just wasn't open at the time um yeah and so then we we went back and had a nap and now we are out again. Now we walk to the Kocha Yasi Wasawi Mosque and uh, it's beautiful. Just walking here there was just a call to prayer uh, which is finished now but um, yeah it's lovely. Can't wait to go in and have a look.
just went to the mosque. Isn't it just absolutely beautiful? Um, I wasn't able to go in, but my daughter was um, because my pants didn't, they're not long enough, which is absolutely fine. Um, but she went in, she said it was really beautiful uh, and it was a shame that I couldn't go in. But she really enjoyed it and took some videos and things for me. So yeah, I really appreciate that she did that for me. Now we are heading to go and get some dinner, I think now. We are starving, we didn't have lunch. We had a pack of chips for lunch, crisps, whatever you want to call them. And um, yeah, and we're a little bit peckish. back in my hotel room it's been a really lovely evening um, after we went to the mosque we went to dinner at a restaurant uh, right near where the hotel is called uh, Sandik I think it looks like Sandy Q but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like Sandik for dinner I ordered the beef and vegetables over a noodle uh, and I think it was a wheat noodle anyway it was just it was incredibly delicious so it was a little bit salty the the vegetable meat um, it was like a bit of a stew on top of the noodles a bit salty but the flavors were just they were intense they were delicious uh, the meat was soft and just fell apart they also gave me like a little tomato uh, I don't want to say salsa it wasn't salsa but it was not like a sauce it was Anyway, I put that in as well. It just intensified the flavors. I cannot rave about this dish enough. It was just so good, so good. Probably one of the tastiest dishes I've had in a reasonably long time. So I cannot highly recommend that dish enough from the restaurant Sandik that is right near the Caravan Saray Hotel, where I'm staying. Then after dinner, uh, we decided to take the boat ride. So for Four and a half thousand ten, ten. Uh, you can buy a ticket to go on just the boat and it goes down the lagoon. So, uh, it starts in the big circle part of the lagoon, goes right down to the egg and then comes back again. And I have to say, uh, it, it was just incredibly relaxing. It was just so nice to sit there on that boat, gently rocking down the lagoon, listening to the music that was surrounding us. Like it was just, really really lovely and the the color of the sky was this it, it was a and i don't want to say it wasn't a deep blue it was a deep blue but not like navy navy dark blue it was just it just a royal blue 
Thank you. And it just really added um, to the ambience of the whole boat ride. So I absolutely loved it. Uh, yeah, four and a half thousand tenj. So uh, about 15 Australian dollars, which I thought was, wasn't too bad. It was a 20 minute boat ride and we pretty much did do the entire 20 minutes, which was great. Um, unlike Venice. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. And then after we got off the boat ride, it was almost nine o'clock and at nine o'clock, uh, the other night there was a full um, the theatrical show on water where there was people in boats and they were um, acting to uh, the story of Kazakhstan. But tonight it wasn't the full theatrical show. Tonight it was just a fountain show, which was lovely. It didn't go for as long. It only went for just over 10 minutes, um, but it was just, it was still really, really nice to watch. So um, dinner, amazing um, boat ride, excellent and relaxing and the water uh, show was just a really lovely way to top off the evening so I've had a great day for day number three uh, in Turkestan, Kazakhstan. Today is our last morning in Turkestan and we have uh, had breakfast, we've packed our bags and we are ready to head to the airport but before we go um, I just wanted to talk and if you've seen any of my other videos which I don't know, you may or may not have, you'll see that sometimes I talk about the cost of a common object and my common object is the uh, bottle of Coke Zero. And, um, and I, I generally just compare the costs across different countries. So for instance, this is a 500 ml bottle and in Australia, we have 600 ml bottles of Coke and they can cost upwards about $4.50 to $5 Australian, depending on where you buy that uh, bottle, but you probably won't get it much cheaper than that. Um, and so here, uh, I was able to pick this one up for 500 tenj, which is about $1.67 Australian. So what's that? That's about a third of the price that I would pay for a similar product uh, in Australia. And I did see it cheaper than that. It was a 300 and around 80 or 90 tenj in the supermarket. So even cheaper still. So. Yeah, it's just one thing that I find very interesting about travel is the cost of a common item around the world. And so I've just got about 15 more minutes until the transfer for the airport arrives. And so just, yeah, taking the last few minutes to soak it all in and think about what an amazing trip this has been. Uh, here I am back at the airport. I did organize the transfer through the, uh, through the hotel. So for another 7,000 tenj, uh, just yeah, to take us here to the airport. And here, it's, it's always been a sweet, the end of a trip, right? Like it was been such a great time. Um, I've really enjoyed myself. I've loved it here. And food's been great. People have been just, you know, beautiful souls. And um, yeah, I'm just so glad that I took the chance and, and booked this ticket. I didn't really know what was here, uh, but I found some remarkable buildings and um, just some great sights. Now, I didn't see everything I wanted to see. I think the weather uh, prevented some of that. But in saying that, um, yeah, I, I don't regret a thing. I had an amazing time. Yeah, so it's been great. And now I'll go into the airport and see if I can check in.